Hi, I'm Tommy from Buy2ARadios.com. This is the KG935G+, the upgraded version of Ocean's KG935G GMRS handheld radio. If you've been following our content, then you're probably aware of all the new features that this radio brings compared to its predecessor. But one feature we've brought up a lot but haven't really delved into that much is the Channel Wizard. So what is the Channel Wizard really? Well, the Channel Wizard is a new feature introduced in the KG935G Plus that allows you to easily and quickly program a new channel or modify an existing channel straight from the keypad. So those of you that have previous experience programming radio straight from the keypad know that it can be a headache. But with the Channel Wizard, that's no longer an issue. Let me show you what I mean. So there's two ways you can access the Channel Wizard. The first one is by holding down the menu button. There you are. The second way, you go into menu, type 6, followed by 1, and there's the channel wizard. This is because the channel wizard is option 61. Once again, either hold down the menu button, or menu 6, 1 for option 61. Okay, so let's go over this process. The first step we have is the type. You're going to want to hit menu to open up the submenu. From here, we can use the arrow keys to select what type of channel we're going to be adding. We have three types. We have repeater, receive only, and GMRS simplex. And by the way, just a quick tip, there are actual numbers that tell you which step you're on. So we're on step one, here's step two. We're going to set the receive frequency. Now this is dependent on which channel type you picked. First one, we picked repeater. So you just scroll through the eight repeater frequencies. So let's say we pick simplex. Okay, menu to confirm. Now we have access through the GMRS frequencies through simplex. I'm not gonna scroll through all of them, but you get the idea. And then our receive only, this is the only one where you have to key in a frequency. So we don't actually have a list. You can just kind of use the top knob to scroll through if you so desire. So let's go to the next one. Transmit CTCSS tone. As you can see, I'm hitting menu, but it's not letting me go to the submenu because I've only selected a receive only channel. So if we go back to step one, say we pick repeater, now we can select our transmit CTCSS. So if something doesn't look like it's working on the menu or any of the submenus, check your other steps to make sure you don't have anything that disqualifies any of these steps. Step four is your transmit DCS code. Step five is your receive CTCSS tone. And step six is your receive DCS code. And just like any of the other options, just press menu to go to the submenu and use the arrow keys to navigate it. Step seven is your transmit power. And if you go to the submenu, you have the choice between mid, high, and low power. Step eight is your channel name. Hit menu to go to the submenu, and you can change what the radio displays as the channel's name. When you're changing the channel name, use the arrow keys to go through the letters alphabetically. And then it'll start cycling through numbers as well, and symbols. Once you've selected what you want to put on a certain line, use the PF keys, one and two, to scroll through the other inputs. Now, as we discussed before in a previous video, the PF keys can be assigned to various functions in the radio for long presses and short presses. But by default, when you're selecting a name or changing letters, it switches between which ones you're going to be changing. If you don't like what you named your channel, simply hit scan and it clears out the entire line. You can also use the scroll wheel to go through the numbers and letters as well. So once we hit menu to confirm the name, we go to the next step Step nine, which is the channel number. Menu to confirm, use the arrow keys, or you can scroll through, choose your channel number. 
The KG935G Plus allows you to program up to 999 channels. Now you probably notice that when I'm scrolling through, the letters are changing color from purple to black. That's because channels that are already assigned will be a different color than the ones that are blank. So the blank ones will be the default color on the menu, while the ones assigned, such as these, like channel one, are purple. This helps you keep track of which channels you already have so that you're not overwriting one that you may use. It's also worth noting that the defaults for all the wizard options are preset from the channel that you were on when you entered the wizard. Since we were on channel three, it put us on channel three by default. This allows you to quickly update channels by simply going to it and holding down menu or using the menu input menu 6-1 to immediately modify that channel. You can also use the PF keys on the side to scroll through the unassigned channels so you make sure you don't overwrite anything. Here it brings us straight to channel 31, which is the first one in the order that isn't assigned to anything. But we're going to keep this one at channel 1. The last step, step 10, is the saving mode. You have two options here. You can save end, which saves the settings to the current or new channel and exits the channel wizard, or save new which saves the settings to the current or new channel and goes back to the first step in the channel wizard to change or create a new channel. For example, if I selected save new, now we're back at the first step of the channel wizard. On the contrary, if I were to select save end, press menu confirm, boom, there we are back at the default screen for the 935G+. And there you have it. There is your custom channel you just programmed using the channel wizard. Zero programming cables required. This has been a guide of the channel wizard for the KG935G Plus by Ocean. You can buy your KG935G Plus by going to buytwowayradios.com. I'm Tommy. Thanks for watching.